So Pilar, we're both gonna demonstrate two different things that you could treat yourself with, and these are treats, for Galentine's, Valentine's, Palentine's. Yep, so on deck today, we have a brie and apple grilled cheese sandwich. I mean, no truer expression of love than a grilled cheese sandwich. I and think. when we cut the sandwich, when we made it the other day, we realized that the bread cuts into the shape of a heart, which Absolutely. is pretty perfect. Absolutely, just for Valentine's Day. And then the second recipe is a citrus and olive oil loaf. This is like my go-to, easy enough for a weekday, special enough for a weekend recipe. And it's inspired by two culinary uh, powerhouses, Melissa Clark and Dory Greenspan. Well, I have to say that olive oil cake is so hot right now. Yes, it is. It's so on trend. And this sandwich is something I made for myself when I was pregnant. So that should just tell you everything. Now, here we go. All right, you want soft butter. Definitely room temp, mm -hmm. not melted. Do not put butter in the pan. I'm very passionate about this because what you don't want on crunchy bread is soggy butter to make it all wet and nasty. <laughs> you wanna take a room temp and spread the butter right on the slice of bread. I mean. And that's what's gonna give you a great grill that isn't wet and oily. What kind of bread are you using, Drew? I like a nice store-bought sourdough. Yeah, and it has that really nice tang too, which I think it adds to the flavor of the whole grilled cheese sandwich. Good That's point, looking Pilar. really good. Thank you, okay. <laughs> so then you wanna have it like on a nice medium mm -hmm. to high, not medium to low, because you want some crunch and crisp, so get the pan going. Then you wanna take your brie and make that the first layer. The brie is also gonna act like um, a glue for the arugula, which is kind of a nice touch. I personally don't prefer the skins, but it's okay if a little bit gets on there. Like, you're not gonna be able to get it perfect. It's brie. One quick tip about um, if you're taking the skins off or the rinds off of the brie. How do you, you have any brie left? <laughs> you definitely want it a little more chilled, and that's gonna do a really nice and easy slice so that you can take the rind off uh, much easier. And I love the brie flavor because it doesn't fight the pepperiness of the arugula and the sweetness and acidity of the apple. So I go hard on the arugula. Like get yourself a nice <laughs> pile um, because you want that green. You want that little bit of that beautiful texture that the arugula provides. And, and apple and brie are such classic combinations. Classic. But if you want to, if you want to play around a little, a little, you can do like a pear and Gruyere. Maybe oh, I'm no, starting you, to rhyme. <laughs> pear and Gruyere. Pear and Gruyere. Oh, no, now I'm not feeling as confident in my sandwich because I <laughs> no, think I might no, like that apple, just as apple much. Apple and brie is like, it's so delicious. And if you've removed your pan and it's gone a little cooler, don't worry. Ooh, that sizzle. It's talking to you. It is. So Drew, while Another you're- Another tip, sorry to interrupt me, no, you, go for but it. I wanted to mention this to people, is some people have the urge to put a lid on. Pilar, what does putting a lid on it do? It basically steams it, which is exactly what you do not want in a grilled cheese sandwich. No, you do not. Yeah, so I think pressing gently is totally great. And that's gonna go for about two to three minutes, I think each side, roughly. I so while so. you're grilling, I'm gonna start on our citrus olive oil loaf cake. So in this bowl, we have 3 fourths cup of sugar and the zest of two oranges, Is basically. that a blood orange? No, so these are grapefruits and two navel oranges, basically. Navel. And <laughs> navel, nice and, and, nice and uh, sweet. So what you wanna do when you get the sugar in the bowl is to actually rub that zest with the sugar because it starts to Perfume the sugar and Perfume. release the oils. So to that, we're gonna add over here, we have half a cup of just plain yogurt. Get that in there. I'm gonna mix that up. And to this, as I'm mixing, I have a quarter cup of the citrus juice from the citrus that we segmented earlier. So Drew, to this batter, I'm just adding in three eggs, mm -hmm. carrying on over here, mixing, mixing. And then we're gonna add in 
two thirds cup of olive oil. So you don't want to break your bank with this olive oil, but you do want a nice flavorful olive oil because that, that's going to carry all throughout uh, the cake. Okay, now we're going to fold in our dry ingredients where you have some flour, some baking powder. So that's one and three fourths cup of flour, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, basically. So I'm gonna mix that in the bowl. And Drew, the last thing we're gonna do to this batter is actually fold in gently, that wasn't so gentle, your citrus segments. Your navel oranges. My navel oranges and my pink grapefruit. Okay, now I am gonna cut this, Pilar, help me, because the last time we cut it, you cut it perfectly where it went into hearts and I went too much on an angle. So and you want it on the, exactly, on the good, bias, right there. exactly. On the bias, on yeah, the bias. mine looked like so weird because that I went great. too much for the diagonal um, and this bread. Okay, so there's the cut. Oh, that's beautiful, Drew. Oh. And I'm just pouring this batter into the prepared pan. Oh yeah, Oh baby. yeah, that looks great. This thing to finish off is gonna go into a 350 degree oven. For how long? For around 50 minutes until it gets golden. Did and you it's say 15? 50, five, five zero. Oh, well, five oh. I clarified that. <laughs> it's not that simple. <laughs> it's gonna start to pull away from the pan, it's gonna get golden, and then you're gonna wanna uh, test it with a cake tester and it's gonna come out clean. I mean. I'm using my fish spatula yes. because it's not just for fish. Um, and then, what's the way that it goes? Oh, you know what? Just flip it over. Yeah. There you go. Now it's in There's the shape. There's that part. Oh, oh, <laughs> Perfect. Did you see the lovely citrus segments coming through? I feel like we have an art theme going on. I do think we That's have an nice. art theme. You're painting theme. with a the mustard. We have these like lovely squiggles of. So you can take the palette knife and just paint on it, or you can just take your sandwich and drag it through. And, and I'm gonna do my little drizz. drizzle, drizzle. You ready? One up. Cheers, I love you. Two Galentines. Happy Galentines. Yes. Thank you, Pilar. You're welcome. I love you. Love you.